now time for the nation's sharpest opinion. Viewers, Mark Zuckerberg has confessed, Mark Zuckerberg of Meta, earlier Facebook, has now confessed that he, along with other big tech companies, are partners with the American deep state. By deep state, I mean CIA, FBI, State Department, and other secret assets of the American government known only to the White House. So Mark Zuckerberg has admitted effectively that over the years, these big tech companies have worked with them to advance the interests of the American deep state. This has now been published everywhere. The recent events in Bangladesh rode on the back of the involvement of the same American deep tech companies who the CIA, FBI and the American secret agencies work with. Mohammed Yunus, who has been flown in by the Americans, I think, to lead Bangladesh, has, as per several emails of which I have copies with me today, put out by WikiLeaks, he has been over the years in very, very close correspondence with the Americans, particularly when Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State with her specific personal teams when she was Secretary of State. The Americans have been helping Mohammed Yunus set up his Grameen Bank. They have worked towards advancing the interests of Grameen Bank business-wise and they've also been working to get him to agree to enter Bangladeshi politics. According to these emails and correspondence, this effort has been going on since 2007. Which means that for the last 16 years or more, the Americans and Muhammad Yunus are working together. The way in which Muhammad Yunus, who is a political nobody, has been made the head of Bangladesh, makes him a role model to people like Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi will get very excited because Rahul Gandhi has been similarly, like Muhammad Yunus, has been in close touch with the Americans and Rahul Gandhi has been effectively overtly pleading with the Americans to enter and become influence peddlers in Indian politics. Now, ladies and gentlemen, since Narendra Modi went to Moscow recently and defied the Western media expectations that he would distance himself from Vladimir Putin, the American State Department, the American Embassy in New Delhi and its deep state assets and machinery have become overactive. So they must have got instructions from Washington to target the Modi government. So they've become so active, they're doing PR activity. One day they flew down to meet Asaduddin Oweisi on the 12th of August. Then they quickly went to go and meet Omar Abdullah and Farooq Abdullah on the 26th of August in Srinagar. Then they went down to, flew down to meet Chandra Babu Naidu on the 31st of July. Then they met Congress Chief Minister Revan Reddy on the 2nd of August. You know, if you look at the way these American diplomats are behaving, it's almost like they're going to fight an election in India or that they have been given the responsibility of forming an alternative political setup. It's embarrassing. What are you doing, American diplomats? Stop behaving like children. I know you got calls from Washington to meddle, but be classy about it. And in fact, don't do it because we are tracking everything you do. The American embassy has also started after these elections. They've started conducting workshops for Indian influencers on social media. They're calling it impact level work. So what they're trying to do, the American diplomats, they're trying to convince more Indian influencers to take a pro-America line, a pro-state department line, a pro-American deep state line. The Americans think this way they will influence the influencers and the influencers will do what they want them to do. And maybe in the course of it, through some usual American deep state techniques, they'll call it funding good journalism or they'll call it funding impact journalism or whatever like that. They'll keep giving bits of money to people they like. In fact, you should all do the research on which are the people, which are the organizations, which are those digital companies, influencers who have been taking money from the Americans directly. It happens quite directly. $10,000, $20,000, $30,000. They give this money and these Indians gratefully accept it. And that's how the deep state works. Ladies and gentlemen, the American deep state which was, in my view, earlier supporting the Amadmi party, has now hitched completely and moved its forces entirely behind the NGO Congress ecosystem. Mark Zuckerberg's admission in all of this, that he has been a very loyal lieutenant, effectively, of the American deep state, brings into the open the big tech deep state conspiracy. The only difference is that between Bangladesh and India is that we are a larger country. We are a bigger country, we are a stronger country. And by putting out this kind of information, like I am doing to you right now, like Republic Lee is constantly putting out to you, we are doing this because we are preparing you, the viewers and supporters of the Republic Media Network and the people of India, 
we are preparing you to be prepared for the onslaught of this conspiratorial dangerous american deep state american big tech along with some political parties and leaders in india their attempt to carry out an onslaught on indian democracy i believe this is an inevitability they are working so hard on it they will try to do it who are the people who will work with them in india well it could be the same people who are questioning the evms the same people who are questioning the whole electoral process in india and are therefore creating a narrative on behalf of their american bosses that indian electoral democracy has failed take a few steps back and look at what these people what people in bangladesh were saying 2 to 3 months back they along with the americans started saying that yes sheikh hasina has won the elections but the elections were not fair the electoral process is not fair now was the coup fair was the military coup fair or was bringing in a political nobody like mohammad yunus who is clearly an american agent a deep state agent and putting him as the face of a military government is that fair to the bangladeshi people is the crashing of the bangladeshi economy fair are the killings of hindus fair ladies and gentlemen the people in india the mir jafar's feel that if the americans could make mohammad yunus the leader of bangladesh then they too can use the americans as a springboard to come to power in india and these people in india who are losing elections or have not fought in election or can never win an election through the normal way who will keep losing elections they want to work together with american deep tech to engineer chaos in india to subvert the election results of june 2024 Now in all of this what do you need to do What you need to do is to let everyone know what this American deep state plan is against Bharat to forward this video to tell every Bharatiya that this American conspiracy against India's supreme national interest has to fail and that we together the people of Bharat should teach the Americans the geopolitical lesson that they fully deserve serve them a defeat teach them a lesson that only bharat can so we have to come together please spread this video as widely as you can so that the americans know that even before they think they can act against us that we've got our lens on them it is they who should be on the defensive ladies and gentlemen it is they who must know the people of bharat will teach them a lesson if necessary if they conspire against our interest